So we made it to the parking area and the parking is free. So now let's make our way to the ferry. Discount tickets and packages. We thank you for choosing Shetlers as your Mackinac Island transportation. trip I'll tell you yeah what. it wasn't long at all I do want to say one thing I don't have any expectations of this place because I didn't look up a single thing besides history I know nothing of what anything looks like I have no clue what we're doing besides renting a bicycle and there are bicycles galore what we're gonna do right now is we're going to rent some bikes and we're gonna cruise all the way around the island it takes an hour without stopping but we're gonna stop and see the site so where should we get a bike at up renting cruiser bikes at Ribas. Now these are single speed but you can also get seven speed, you can get mountain bikes, if you have kids you can get the little um, pull behind. There's all kinds of stuff. And they recommended we go to the left of the island, less foot traffic. I think we need to go around. Yep so you're basically going clockwise around the island and we'll go around now. The cool thing about the Mackinac name is it was shortened from a Native American name of the island, which means big turtle. Whenever the French acquired this land, it ended up being considered a great location for fur trade. Later on, the British acquired it and they put a fort on it because they realized it was a good location with its high bluffs to help for battle purposes. After the War of 1812, the US acquired this land. After the Civil War though, this place started having more and more fishing commerce. So the fur trade went out and fishing started becoming a big thing here. And a lot of people would come from Detroit, Michigan, and a lot of other large cities to come on vacation. So that's when all these houses and hotels that you see here were being built to promote more people to come here in comfort. And that's whenever it started becoming a tourist island, which is what we see today. Look at this. And the one thing I forgot to tell everybody that's important about this island are no cars are allowed. The other good thing about this island is they have public restrooms along the full length of it, which Kelly needs to use right now. We're at our first little stop. This is British Landing. This will be your first restroom stop and a way to check out the water. Now there's a couple of hidden spots on your way up here, but this is your first restroom. This is so beautiful. Ugh. Take a seat for a minute. This whole entire trip through southern peninsula of Michigan, we've been on Lake Michigan. Now we are officially, now that we've passed the Mackinac Bridge and on the Lake Huron area. But in all honesty, Lake Michigan and Lake Huron are one giant body of water, one continuous body of water, because they're at the same level and they're considered two different lakes, but this is the most narrow point 
of a channel between the two. Lake Superior, which we're gonna be going to in a few days or weeks, or I don't know where we're gonna get there, is higher in elevation and has a drop into these lakes. And then south of here is Lake Erie, which is actually lower than all the, than this lake. I am very happy the sun decided to come out today. I'm very happy that your face is looking better. How's it looking, Angel Princess? I feel better. We gotta thank our hostess with the mostest. That ice pack really helped. Something just landed on me and I smacked it and I don't think it was threatening. But don't, don't kill a butterfly now. I just, I'm not taking any risks. Okay. Found this cool little spot and I wanted to see how clear the water was on the north side. Y'all ready for this? Pretty. I wish I was laying out here. Oh yeah. This is really pretty. It's not that bad. Not that bad at all, really, babe. Majority of this whole entire island is a state park. I forgot to add that. It originally was a national park a few years after Yellowstone was created. And then for some reason, I don't remember why, the national park system dropped it and gave it over to Michigan. And this became Michigan's very first state park. But let's continue on down this little eight mile path. And it's pretty flat. Anybody can do this. It's not hard at all. Turn the bikes and after a long ride, it wasn't that long, it was eight miles, but we're kind of hungry, right? Yeah, we want a little snack. Just for enough energy to hike up up there. And then we'll have dinner again later. So that salmon salad with some pecans felt pretty good for the soul, wouldn't you say? It was a decent, good snack. We just had to get a little bit of energy. And now we can move on to our next event we're doing here. Behind me is the city hall, but are y'all ready to see the Mackinac Island post office? How cool is that? It's pretty cool, huh? So this is the journey that we were eating that salad for. We are now at Fort Mackinac 
which was placed up here because it is the highest point on the island. Fort Mackinac was relocated here and founded during the American Revolution because it was believed that on the mainland of this peninsula in Mackinac City, there was a fort called Michelin Mackinac and they thought that that wouldn't be as safe during the American Revolution. And when I mean they, I mean the British. So they relocated over here with these large limestone bluffs to help as a defense against the American army. So the British were pretty effective at keeping this for a while until after the American Revolution was over. impressed with the amount of passion people here are taking in this fort. Yeah. Like there are some really young people here taking interest in. I think uh, they're part of like Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts though. They are? Yeah, There's a lot of Girl Scouts. Of yeah. But it's just so much pride in this. It's just neat to see. There is a hotel here, a very popular hotel. It's been here for a long time. It's super expensive and we need to go see it in person. The majority of the island is a state park, but any of these houses that you see like this along the island are private property. So you can live here if you want. We actually saw a house for sale or property for sale while we were riding our bike. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It is crazy to think about. Behind us is the Grand Hotel. Apparently this hotel is a big thing around here, but it costs $10 to go into the hotel and there's a dress code after 6 p.m. You have to have a coat and tie after 6 p.m. And it is after 6 p.m. and we don't have a coat or tie. So the place we're gonna eat dinner at is called the Kingston Kitchen. So it's kind of a, a Jamaican vibe going on there. Island time, But man. the menu looked really good. So that is where we are headed for dinner.
that was amazing. One Very delicious. of the coolest meal experiences I've had in a while. We've been to Jamaica for our, our wedding honeymoon. Yeah. And the food there was on par with the food we had in Jamaica. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah, it was jerk chicken and there was plantains and he had red snapper. Oh, so good. But now we cannot leave the island until we get fudge. So let's go get some fudge. Where are you folks from? Happy birthday. Arkansas. Cool. So are you about? Yeah, man. So now it's time to head back to the ferry and we're gonna go on back to mainland and, we'll try our and go fudge. home. Oh yeah, we're gonna try the fudge. Like. Are we going the right way? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, right here. It is 8.10 and the next ferry doesn't arrive until nine o'clock. So we have to wait a little bit. So I'm gonna try some of that fudge we had. This has got cherries in it. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good fudge right there. That was actually really good fudge. Well, this island was an experience and a must not miss when you come this direction. We're gonna enjoy some more of this fudge and we'll catch you on the other. See ya.